Who could have thought that this t-shirt is actually Spark? Nice bike marathon. If you are having problems with your twin lock, you are not alone. And I'm actually joining your side that issue. So how the failure happened, basically lockout just stopped working and you were no longer able to hold it in fully locked position. At the same time, the dropper sketchy to do because everything was just came out loose before going into warranty and claiming for that thing i will try to fix it myself hopefully it will work out the issue is that first of all there is no middle position not holding at all hopefully i will be able to do that without actually disassembling all the cables but first things first i will just remove wind lock from the handlebars just to make sure that i have access to all the necessary pieces at the same time i will clean everything out uh, loosen all the cables make sure that there is no tension here by turning the barrel adjusters clockwise so we will need four millimeters allen key i assume that the problem might only be that this became loose but because i already removed that i will eliminate the, this uh, dust cover as well to make sure to clean it so it's a bit small thing to do this one holds in place by a very small bolt so make sure not to lose it and also once it comes into place it pinches on this piece so keep that in mind and do not lose that small bolt we are not going to inside those just use the brush to make sure that any debris here coming away actually i can see that this blue part is a bit worn out but it shouldn't be the problem here so i will just make sure that this one is tight 10 size torx it was tight or was good at that what i'm going to do now is to loosen this bolt behind it there is a nut here 15 size nut but i don't have these type of spanners so maybe it will do the trick with this in order just to hold it and the three millimeters allen key just remove this yeah it's hard to hold it but apparently it loosened out we can actually see something going on there there is few metallic debris there so inside in this part it seems like this one is a bit oily so maybe there were some grease in the past but at the same time i will just clean everything thoroughly here and there are some dirt inside there at that pin it's pretty worn out there are some dents and scratches of the metal it's one year and a half i'm having this it did the job for quite long enough already but i guess that from time to time cleaning it is a good idea never did that myself is it still under warranty yes it is but why i'm doing it myself well basically for a few reasons one is that i don't want to spend too much time uh, getting to warranty stuff unless it's terminal damage the other thing is that i sent few parts since june and i still haven't received any response so no replacement parts nothing so thanks have i express for a great warranty it definitely helps i have replaced quite a lot of parts already because i just can't wait half a year for things to get going i hopefully will get them at some point but just to bring clarity it's not Hawaii Express, which I bought it directly from our shop in Lithuania, which took it from Baltics distributor, which is Hawaii Express. I will also make sure that this is also torqued properly. Three 10 Torx bolts all are tight. One of the main reasons why I loosen out the cables is to have a bit greater control of all that tension so it looks something like that i actually can see some threads from the other side so they are there it might be the problem here we inserted the bolt into i will just tighten it a tiny bit to make sure that it sits into place what i'm going to do now is to connect the lever to the bike in order to have better access to that bolt in between i will also add thread lock on this bolt while it never went wrong 
but you never know before doing that don't forget the cover so i kind of almost already forgot about it these type of things are always tricky find out how they should be added back so basically that part which comes closer towards the fitting holes goes inside and once it does you just tighten that small bolt now we can tighten it be aware that it's not yet fixed because we need to still work on that bolt what i just realized is that you can remove this out so yeah removing this might be beneficial as well to just clean everything from it now as we put everything inside my guess is that it just doesn't hold down at all and the threads are no longer there in the tech book there is information about holding that nut with a spanner but because i don't have proper one to access it it's not just feasible for me to do that so we can just make a test here insert this try to tighten it nope it doesn't the release doesn't hold inside the actual lockout lever so it should be something like that so it's just a matter of time when it will broke down on me again so the thing here is that it just loosens down and then the release uh, drops out of the hole so what i'm going to try to do is to hold the lever with the zip ties the idea here is to make sure that the dropper doesn't go down too much and it kind of holds but it won't actuate so it's not going to work in this way I need to find a different way to hold it in place without actually affecting the lever of the dropper by adding zip tie here all right so it doesn't return to place easily the dropper barrel is currently very loose so i'll tighten it just a bit but it won't knuckle here so basically now in order to make it work I could in theory just hold it a bit this way and enable it yeah so by adding zip tie in between the dropper lever and the lockout lever I managed to make it stick here at least for now we'll see how long it will work this way because I adjusted the barrels quite a lot I will just make sure that lockout work front is back to business and the rear is not so tightening the barrel adjuster works anti-clockwise tiny tiny bit and it will be fully locking boom so here is the solution temporary one for sure adding zip tie in between the dropper lever and the lockout lever did the trick until i get the new lever from the warranty lockout doesn't work so basically twin lock just broken down have you heard something like that if you didn't now you will that is how new twin lock looks like